welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be explaining that how to transfer your windows 10 or 11 to a new hard disk or ssd now we all know that transferring windows from one disk to another disk is really a complicated job and majority of the people fail to do it so today our sponsor is iSunshare and we will be using the iSunshare clone go that is a paid software but you can transfer windows from one disk to another disk with very few simple steps so let's quickly get started right now you can see i have a local disk c that i want to move to another disk that is new volume e okay so that's what i will be doing so this new volume is a hard disk but if you have ssd then you will have to apply the same steps so you will be getting the link in the description you will have to come to this website that says clone go copy backup and restore it says clone windows os or the entire disk to ssd or hard disk without reinstallation backup and restore system partition with no data loss clone partition or system to protect your data clone dynamic volume to basic disk so there are many features that you get and if you talk about the pricing they only charge around 19.95 dollar with a lifetime license so it really seems worth to me and if you really want to operate this feature then you can go with this option okay so once you come up here you will be getting the link in the description you will have to click on download the downloading will be started and it's around 25 mb so it will be quickly downloaded and once it get downloaded you will have to click on it click on yes next i agree install now once it will be installed you have to click on finish and the ice and Shear clone go software will now be coming up with a very neat and clean page and here it shows your disk zero that is my c drive and disk one that is my new hard disk so now what i have to do here i have to transfer the windows from c drive to my disk disk one now below you will find that the target partition as the boot disk and here first you have to select a source partition that is my c drive then i have to select a target partition where i want to transfer my windows so you will have to click on the drop down and choose the volume that is my e drive you can see here i will simply select it and that's it now you don't have to do anything simply click on start it says the existing file on the target partition will be overwritten are you sure to start the copy so if you have any kind of data or any kind of file inside that new disk then you have to delete it or take the backup now simply click here on yes and the process will now be started now this will take some time depending that how much data you have and also depend that you are transferring to a hard disk or ssd so let's quickly wait until it's all been done all right so finally the process is completed and once it will be done it will say the copy completed successfully so just keep in your mind that it will take some time it can take about 10 to 15 minutes maybe less or more then you will have to keep some patience here so once it's been completed i have to click on ok now i can minimize it now this time if i bring up my file explorer so you will find that this drive that was empty now it contains all the windows files over here even if i go back and bring up the local disk c so you can see all the files here are being transferred to these files here and once all the work has been completed now you are ready to boot your computer with the local disk e okay so what i will do i will just restart my computer in the bios mode from the bios i will select the usb device bingo so now you can see that our computer just booted with the new hard disk or ssd that we just transferred so this is the best and the simplest way to transfer your windows from one hard disk or ssd to another hard disk or ssd and that's all guys for today hopefully you enjoyed and found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye